On April 5, 1994, the world of grunge rock was forever changed when Kurt Cobain was found dead in his Seattle home. Changing the world of music with his dark lyrics and catchy melodies, Nirvana had major commercial success with their albums Nevermind and In Utero, selling over 50 million records worldwide. Cobain was often dubbed the spokesperson of a generation for tackling his inner issues through his music. Following the success of Smells Like Teen Spirit, the 24-year-old Cobain began to fear that his music was not being received the way he originally intended. Becoming a target to media attention, Cobain began to heavily use heroin to cope with his constant worries. He was among the most powerful voices of his generation, an originator of a music style and fashion called grunge, as lead singer for the hugely successful rock group Nirvana, which has sold 15 million albums worldwide. Kurt Cobain's tenure as a living rock and roll icon was brief and troubled. In February 1992, Kurt and his on-again and off-again girlfriend, Courtney Love, were wed and welcomed their first child, Francis Bean Cobain. The relationship was constantly making headlines for their rumored extensive drug use and numerous public fights. After two attempts at suicide, Love had an intervention for Cobain, begging him to get off drugs. This intervention led to Kurt being on suicide watch. Kurt Cobain eventually killed himself on April 5, 1994, in the guest room of his Seattle home. Though he may be gone, his impact on music remains. Back, we're uh, very sadly commemorating the uh, death of Nirvana leader Kurt Cobain, whose body was found apparently one day dead at least in uh, Seattle on Friday morning. He apparently shot himself in the head with a 12-gauge shot.